Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are doing warm. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I hope you're warm. It is cold here in Arizona. All of a sudden, we went straight from summer to winter. It is cold, so I'm wearing my uh, my winter gear here and my, my, my Carhartt beanie here inside the RV. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet, link below in the video description, as I'm still moving stuff from the RV and loading it into my my blue shed out there. Uh, um, uh, a lot of people have been asking uh, the last couple months, what is that strange white thing that we keep seeing in your sink area? Uh, well, I'll let you know, it's of no fault to, to the company. It was actually a FedEx claim that I had. They were horrible and I caught them on camera throwing this portable dishwasher uh, on the ground in front of my RV. And uh, it's taken some time, but uh, have a Haba HAVA has sent me a brand new portable RV countertop dishwasher. I love technology. Uh, I'm not a lazy person, but I've been I've been RVing now for uh, 12, 12 years, 12 years full time. So uh, I have done my fair share of washing dishes in the sink. It is not only extremely time consuming, even just for one person and two cats here but also it is an incredible waste of water. You wouldn't think it, but the amount of water that you use to rinse and wash and scrub and clean, uh, you're actually wasting a lot of water and this sucker will run with heated water. Yes, it's actually going to continue to heat the water and reuse it. It'll run two and a half, no, sorry, 1.3 gallons of water total. That is to wash and do two rinses and completely clean. I can probably run this once a week. And a perfect example, uh, Deb's actually made us chili. So we've got all of the nasty chili bowls uh, to clean and the cookware. And we are going to test this thing out right. So let me open this guy up and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, now I've never even owned a dishwasher in a house before guys. So this is pretty fancy for me. There's the company HAVA. They sent this to me free. They're not paying me to do this video or anything, but they did send it to me and said that uh, I would I would enjoy it and there might be some other people who could find this practical. It's just like a normal dishwasher though. It's just a smaller version. So this is the uh, fill bucket to fill the water. You fill it on top. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. There's a little rack here for some other silverware. It's got connections so you can permanently connect it to a faucet if you wanted to. But like I said, you can just fill it up with the bucket. This is the drain hose that hooks to the back. It also has a suction cup so you can stick it to the bottom of the sink right there. I'll get that installed here on the back. And then a fruit rinsing basket. There's an, actually a setting up here. Once we turn it on, you'll, you'll see you can rinse your fruit with, with, without soap. We are gonna load this up. There you go. The bottom, it's got just look, it looks like a normal dishwasher. Oh, and then on top, it's got another one up there and a light. Let me get it plugged in and hooked up here and then we'll get this guy started up. I've also got my water heater on right now, preheating some uh, hot water. All right, got the hose clamped on the back. Just gonna tighten this up so that the water will drain nicely into the sink. All right, got the drain hose rerouted into the sink right there to drain. That'll be good. Oh, we've got to take off this plastic protective piece, the most satisfying part. Oh yeah. And plug her in like that. Wait for it to do something. Okay, look at this touch screen up here. That's cool. Let's turn it on, hold it down. Ooh, look at that. 69, so there's normal, speed, soft. Uh, baby care, huh, and fruit. We open it up, Ooh, <laughs> oh yeah! That is gorgeous, and it's a, it's a magnetic lid here. This thing is slick, guys. It is really, really cool looking. So let's go ahead and uh, load up the dishwasher. This is the silverware rack back there. Like I said, we are really gonna be testing this dishwasher with some, some dirty, dirty silverware here. I'm gonna get a good look at that, okay? That's bad. That's bad. I'll put that one there. I'll put this one over there like that. Put this one like that. Then we got this big stainless steel bowl. Um, you are limited to how much you can really put in here. I'm just looking to make sure it'll actually close, you know? Let's see. Yep, we're still good. 
There we go. I adjusted things again. I moved this one over there, so that's getting a little more contact. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to call this good for our first test. Uh, I wonder what's going to happen with all the beans after they get washed, but you don't need a special kind of dishwasher detergent. Whatever you got, the powder stuff will work, but I like these little pods because they're just ready to go. You just set it right there or just throw it. It's going to fall right there anyway, so just put it right there. And then we are going to fill it with water up here. Let me pull it out a little bit right there. You just pour the hot water right in there. I'm gonna use hot water. You don't have to use hot water, but this has a built-in heater. So as it's going through, it's going to continue to heat the water. It'll actually run, it'll turn off, off often, but at most it'll run about 680 watts while it's reheating and reusing the soapy water. So we're gonna fill this guy up right here. As long as it's turned on, it's gonna sense it and it's gonna beep at us when it gets 1.3 gallons of water in there. I forgot this lid, so we're gonna sneak that in right there. Pour it in here and try not to spill. I think if I were in a cabin or a tiny house or apartment or something, I would hook up the water to the sink, but for portable use like this, this is just fine. Oh, right there at the end. It's full. All right, put the cap back on, pet the kitty a little bit. We're gonna push it back into its position here. Make sure that that's still there like that. And for this demonstration, I am going to keep it on the normal setting. It is a 70 minute. Uh, that does not include dry. So once it gets done with the wash, it'll also automatically do the dry. And then I think it'll automatically do dry like every three hours or so just to keep bacteria from coming back. But all right, we got our soap in there. We're connected. We're good to go. I'm going to say start. And what it's going to do is it's going to take some of the water now and get ready. Opie, are you helping? So it's gonna suck it down. There's also, I forgot to mention, there's a filter down there that'll catch some of the beans and other stuff that you're washing. You can clean that out after each use too. I'll, maybe I'll show that to you at the end here, but uh, I'll wait for it to start up here. All right, now it's filling the bottom right there. You can see a little bit of water moving in there. This is probably gonna steam up because again, it's, it's hot water we put in there and it's gonna keep heating the water. You are in the way. This fuzzy butt right here is blocking everything we're trying to do and show. How do you, what do you think about that? Not my problem, man. It's not my problem. Okay. No, seriously, dude, tail down at least. Thank you. There it goes. Very good started. So spinning on the bottom, the blue light just turned off in there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this go and we're gonna check back here in a little bit and see how it does. I'm, you're, your butt's in the way, monster. We're not washing the kitty right now, we're washing the dishes. Already though, I can see it's doing a lot. So I think it'll count down to about 25 minutes and then it'll, it'll drain and then it'll do a rinse cycle and then it'll do another rinse cycle at about eight minutes. So um, I'm gonna go hang out at the campfire with some friends here and we'll check on this in a little bit. All right, how we doing in here? We're down to uh, 25 minutes remaining. And I believe that once it goes to 24 minutes, that's when it does its first draining. Now, just looking in here, I can see some brown residue from the uh, chili, but I mean, it's hard to tell. But on this first wash, I think it's really, really clean. We'll wait for it to hit 24 here and then it'll, it'll come out this right here. Okay, it's doing so. There it goes. Oh, look at that water. That is bad. That's bad. But now look, down there it looks clean. So it's going to add new fresh hot water and do its first rinse cycle. All right, I can hear it filling up the bowl again down there. And there it goes. The first of two rinse cycles. We'll be back in 23 minutes. I'm going to pause it before it starts the uh, dry cycle. I want to look at this stuff before it gets dried. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> I've been out there enjoying the campfire with Kevin and other friends, and uh, it has already started the drying cycle. I have not touched it yet. So 34 minutes of drying left. I believe this process, this drying cycle uh, started at 60 minutes. So we're almost halfway through it right now. And uh, it, it's actually very efficient. Uh, un unlike the heater that did the water at, at almost 700 watts, this drying cycle is drying at only about 60 watts. And Opie's back with his fuzzy butt. I need to open this. It's gonna turn blue. Here we go. Oh, a lot of, lot of steam here. A lot of steam. I'm kind of worried, but you know what? I don't see any chili residu residue in there. So let's take a, a look at a couple things. That is crystal clear, clean. Fant this is the one I'm worried about because it wasn't getting good. 
Wow. You know what? Okay, so it's got some, that's not water residue. It's got some steam residue on the bottom, but it is clean. It is perfectly clean. How about our chili bowls here? Wow. <laughs> Holy cow, it looks brand new. Here's a, uh, oh my gosh. That is incredible. And then this one, it didn't get warped. That's good. Wow. Fantastic. And all of our silverware, oops, all the silverware looks nice and clean. Yep. That did a fantastic job with chili. I actually want to pull this whole thing out real quick and I just want to take a peek. That is incredible how clean it is. Where did all the chili go? So that's the removable filter. You twist the bottom part right there and then you can shake that out. Um, I might do that just because this was, was such a dirty first wash, but I am impressed. This is awesome. And if we, as we stand, stand back, obviously I need to clean this mess and everything, but I kind of store my uh, coffee maker right there while we're traveling so you can get an idea and then also you know at, at, as I'm going I'm going to put silverware and stuff in here as I go uh cat bowl dishes that I'm using and stuff like that I'm going to actually stop the uh, drying cycle because we don't need to dry anymore it's it's dry enough but it takes up uh not not a whole lot of room in here I mean I, I'm in an RV remember uh, this could be used in your house, in your apartment, in, in your tiny home, in, in your cabin, in your van. Uh, this is very, very practical. So uh, there you go. Hava, H-A-V-A. Thank you so much for sending me out this free version. If you are interested in looking into getting one of these for yourself, I will put some links in the video description below this video. And thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video from Opie and Tara and I. Good night. Whoop.